Yo, yo, yo. Morning, folks. So, as you can see, I'm all dressed and ready already. I'm in the um, car today for something that happened a while back. Um, I don't really want to give information on it because it's a bit personal, but I'll let you know how we get on. It was about, um, basically, I was driving uh, a vehicle that wasn't mine. So folks, I'm just on my way now. I'm about 10 minutes away, so I should make on time. But wish me luck. So folks, bad now unfortunately. Oi won't be allowed to drive for two years I'm after getting a two year ban basically I had a conviction when I was 17 I think and this is my second and both are driving which means that he had no other option but to give me a ban but basically what happened was I was caught driving my brother's van not my van and um, I got I think it was the checkpoint I got stopped at and they seen I had no insurance and the tax disc that he had was fake but it was the tax disc he had since he bought it so it was a bit poxy but what can you do? No car for me? That's for you Dave and everyone else that loves Ireland. Right so folks, I just wanted to clear everything up. I've been having a really, really, really bad last couple of days between family problems, money and obviously this whole band thing. But I just wanted to clear everything up just in case people think I'm a scumbag or I'm a joyride or anything like that. It's nothing like that. Basically when I was 17, I'd done a favour, I wasn't insured. So, um, the... The vehicle had nothing on it as far as I know. I was 17. I was stupid. I was immature. Okay. So that's fair enough. We all learn from our mistakes. But then. I got caught driving my brother's van. When the bubble football van was getting do it. So that was just totally unlucky. And there was a bogey tax disc. In my brother's van when he bought it. Now no, no one knew. Like you'd, not many people check that tax disc. And um, when they buy a car, they just look at the date and say it's in date. And I don't want people thinking that my brother's a fraud or anything like that, because he's not. It's genuinely the truth. When he bought the van, there was a bogey tax. Uh, I find it very hard to say that tax disc in it. So basically, I was done for that, and I got a two-year ban and a very, very, very hefty fine, which it's just killing me. Being honest, as you all know. I just left Bubba Football. Now I probably would have been sacked anyway because I lost my license. So it was kind of a good thing that I did leave. Um, but as well as that, I just, you know, I put a certain amount of money away to try and get me boy. But this fine is just going to eat into it on top of another few things that are at the coming up, which is just a nightmare. Oh, it's, it's just, it's, I'm finding it very hard lately, folks, I have to say. Um, it's a nightmare not having a laptop. It really is now. I'm not going to sell me desktop and get a laptop because it's not going to be as powerful. You know, we need a powerful machine and I'm not going to get a half hour laptop when I can just save for longer and get a MacBook Pro, which is what I have to do because I'm not, as I said, the next laptop we get, I want to have for at least three or four years. And Apple products always, every single time I had one, have lasted me long and I know they're very reliable and they're very, very good for editing so I'm just going to hold out for that but it's been a very hard week folks I have to say and my subscribers seem to be slowing down and then it kind of took a boost last night so I'm finally at 500 which I'm absolutely thrilled about but um, it's just one of them weeks lads and being honest it didn't really hit me in the videos I didn't seem bothered I know but as soon as I got home, it kind of hit me. Jesus, like two years is a long time. Like I have to walk everywhere with the kids. And it's not, as I said, folks, I don't really mind walking. It's just dragging the kids everywhere, which is just a nightmare. But listen, 
it's my own fault I learned from my mistakes and the reason I'm telling you this is because before I probably still would have drove even though I was banned but I'm telling you it's because I know you will pull me on it if I ever was to do that but I know deep down now as I said in yesterday's Q&A I feel like I have changed since I started the vlogs back again and I have matured a lot more so I'm just hoping this is a fresh a fresh start folks all this leaving me job and this ban and everything else I know it's not a great start but listen we all start from somewhere there's people out there a lot less fortunate than me so I'm just happy to have two healthy kids and a roof over my head and listen I'm going to struggle with money. It's going to really only hit me. I'm going to really struggle with money. Especially like the lads are asking me to go out. To the trampoline park again. Kelly's asking me to go out for Paddy's Day. And birthdays and stuff like that. You know it's just going to be a nightmare. But listen folks this is what I. This is what I signed up for so. But anyway I'm sorry the vlog ended like this. And I hope. That you all understand why. I know you all support me. Well most of you's. The people that comment support me anyway. So, um, I appreciate it, and we're finally at 500, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. So, all the new subscribers, thanks for subscribing, I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully, there'll be a lot more crazy content coming. But yeah, folks, I'm going to leave it at that, because I'm just rambling on and on and on now. So, we'll see us tomorrow. Peace! Yo, 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 thanks for watching, folks. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, I record daily videos Monday to Friday, so click that subscribe button. Peace!